Hello, I am Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look to the new GPT 5.1 Codex Max. So uh, last night OpenAI released another new model from the Codex family. This one is the Codex Max one and right now this it's only available in uh, their uh, platform in the Codex CLI tool and in the Codex extension. And uh, supposedly this model should be smarter than the previous models. And in here you see that, for instance, it is offering a uh, very good improvement in the SU benchmark. It is a very, very big jump. And you see from 66 to 79. And in the terminal bench, again, you are seeing a jump of uh, about 6%. So this is quite uh, high and supposedly this model it is faster and it is more efficient when you are working with uh, code. In this video I wanted to see how it's doing and uh, this week also Google released their uh, Gemini 3 model we did yesterday a uh, video on that and we managed to build this website in Astro with just one uh, prompt and I'm curious to see how this Codex uh, Max model it's doing and if it can do a better job than Gemini 3. Of course I'm testing this with uh, Astro and uh, some front-end tasks and some uh, SVG creations so I can see how well it does. I am also used Codex in the past for my project but it was quite slow but it's a very good model if you are trying to review everything. So this is what Gemini managed to do yesterday and this is what Haiku managed to do in the past, Haiku 4.5. And you see that it created some nice designs. And uh, yeah, I'm just curious to see how this model is uh, working, if it's faster and the limits that this model has. And in here I've created an Astro installation and what we're going to do is to go and uh, tell it to do the exactly same thing that uh, we did with the other models. And um, yeah, in here you see that I have my prompt to create an, uh, that I have already an Astro project with Alien CSS4 in it and I want him to create the menu, footer, hero section, services, testimonials, about page services, contact pages. And I want him to create a readme at the end and create SVG logos for everything. So I will run this in the Codex CLI tool. I have the plus plan, I think, from them, the one that it's 20 bucks. And I wanted to see also the limits and uh, how uh, it's doing. You can, uh, of course, work with Z with the ACP, but it doesn't have this model yet in there. So that's why we are going to run the CLI for this. So basically I've just uh, installed the CLI tool, the Codex CLI tool with this command and I've started the CLI tool in Z and I've just choose the model in here. You see that it's using the high and it using the Codex Max. So I will just copy this prompt and we are going to go and uh, see how it's doing. So I'm just hitting the enter and let's see how this model is doing and how fast it is. And at the end we are going to see the limits for this project if uh, it is managed to do everything with the let's say 5 hour limits that I have. So if you don't know if you are having an OpenAI account, the one with $20, the plus plan, you will have access to Codex and you can uh, code with it within some limits. Okay, and right now it's uh, doing something. So in here I run a status, I wasn't logged in previously and you see that right now I don't have any limits used, everything is 100%. So let's copy the prompt and tell it to create the thing for us. So right now it will go and explore the folders and it should be able to build for us this website. So till now it looks like it is more faster than the previous model. Okay, it is planning everything. It, reading, it is reading the packages. With this AI you need to wait. That's the most on this. Okay, it's created a to-do list for us. And in here we'll be able to see what he's doing. 
in Z. These are the files that were changed and in here I've just uh, installed the Tailwind CSS4 on this Astro project so you can have the details. So I guess it created the CSS with global. Yeah, these are the colors that we'll use and the effects. It started creating the SEO component for us. So right now it is working and started creating all the files. So yeah, these days it's that easy to start working with <laughs> AI. In the past, I remember that uh, it wasn't uh, easy when you try to create like a small project, even you need it to do everything manually and you need to know a lot of things to put the things together. Right now the AI is here and it does a pretty good job in helping us. Okay, it created a header for us and it's using the logo from Assets logo. It is not created right now. It will have the details for the service project testimonials directly on the page and the about and contact page that will be separate. And you see that this is quite fast because it already started to go and create the assets for us. So logo is created, the CSV1, and it's creating right now the old SVGs files. So yeah, this model, it's faster than what we have seen in the previous codex models. Indeed, we are seeing a uh, performance increase. Right now it has moved to the hero. And in here you can see all the code that he created. For us, and you can review it. Of course, this is SVG code. And right now you have the hero section. You see in here that it uses the icons, it uses props for this. So this is quite good for Astro because you can modify the details directly in the front matter detail. You don't need to go into the code directly in CSS. It moves to testimonials. So yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it's a big improvement in speed. Maybe because this is only available in Codex and is not available through API yet. They will release this probably in the next days. And you see that it's created about 10 files for us. And you have a lot of context also that right now it can be used. And we are just in four minutes. I'm just very curious to see how it will uh, do. And this is just a simple test that uh, it's showing how it's working with uh, this uh, small project. This shouldn't be hard to do for any model because this is uh, like simple stuff for them. Also Astro framework, it's pretty straightforward that you have a lot of details online and it should know how to use it properly. Right now, I guess it will go and create the pages for us. Yeah, it moves to the about page. Okay. It create the about page. You don't see a lot of code in here. I guess it will do a minimal thing because like this Codex it's working. It is just uh, straightforward and uh, it's relying on you to provide him what to do. That's the difference be between this and the other models like Cloud and Gemini. Cloud is mostly anticipating what you are needing and it just goes and does the things for you. With Codex, you need to pinpoint the exact thing that you want because it will not uh, create a lot of, uh, let's say, fluff. Okay, right now the contact page is creating. Okay, services, it has some things. It's using the layout and it's using the icons that it created. I'm curious to see how they will look like. Okay, it's reading the favicon and probably will change the favicon because this is the one that Astro came to it. I didn't tell him to do that, but he was smart enough to check it and modify also the favicon for us. I think everything should be created except the readme, which is creating it right now. So it took about seven minutes to <laughs> do this thing. So it's very fast. <laughs> if you compare it with the previous model, modify something in the global and it created the readme for us or right now it just goes and updates it with the details. So yeah, readme is created and it uh, tells you about the things that he has done. The SVGs logos and components. I can run this, the SEO. Okay, so right now I think he finished with all of these things. Okay, so we should have finished the details. Let me open a new terminal and in here I will do npm run dev so we can check 
to see that this thing is working. Okay, and this is what he was able to do. So the solar website, it's looking quite nice. So you have this nice hero section in here. He decided to go with uh, the dark theme. I've seen that uh, the codex models are preferring the dark, but hero it's quite clean. So you have nice animations in here. You have a nice uh, hero with a call to action. You have a nice menu in here. You have some nice hover effects. Okay, let's go here. You have the services. Okay, I think the services maybe it will not work the page because it's not created, but we're going to see. Here are the projects. So yeah, this is not looking bad at all. It's very different from what the other models are doing, what Gemini did and what Cloud did. But right now, let's go and see the services. Okay, so it's pointing to this. If we're going to check the services page so yeah he created the services page for us in here you see it added only the services let's go and check the projects plan my site okay this is the contact projects it goes in here testimonials yeah testimonials they don't really look that nice about is not looking nice it's like uh, for a SaaS company what he did contact like this you have some space issues in here let's also cho choose something our work so yeah over and all he managed to create a clean design it is not uh, let's say similar with what the other models did so this is what uh, the Gemini 3 did and I think this one it's more suitable to be on a website for a solar panel company this one it's more for a SaaS company that he created for us but again it has a unique <laughs> approach on things and I like the fact that this is uh, faster than the previous models and he didn't have any errors and if we're going to check again the status for this, let's go and check the status. And in here you see that, for instance, you have only 39k of token used from 272k. And uh, yeah, you have a lot of limits that are uh, still available for you for the 5 hour limit and the weekly limit. So yeah i mean you can use this codex plan the 20 dollars plan from openai with this and you can start coding some small projects and in here you see that you can have the options to go in settings and see also in there the limits let's go and just check this And yeah, in here you have the an overview. Okay, try another model. No, I'm already trying it. In here you have a nice interface, and you can buy credits if you want for this. So you see that in case you like this model and you don't want to pay for other tools, you have also these options in here to add credits to your account, which is pretty nice. So you don't need to go to the biggest plan that they have for this and yeah so yeah I think the main benefit of uh, this new codex max model is the fact that it's more faster because this was a really big issue with the codex models before and chat GPT models and it's smarter I will put uh, this to try on my uh, react project and see if uh, it's doing a better job and it's in you know, understand it react let's say better than the previous things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you like what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe.